Hey guys, how's it going? Eric Norris here. Today I wanted to talk about what it's like living in Nashville, Tennessee. For any of you that are looking to move here or are just intrigued and want to know what, you know, how the atmosphere is, the daily life, the nightlife, you know, what the people are like, what the geography is like, the weather, all those things. I'm going to try to touch on all these things on, in this video. And so, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So I moved here eight and a half years ago. It'll be nine years come this April 2023. And um, I wanted to be here for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one, taxes. If I was getting involved with real estate, I wanted to have the lowest amount of taxes that I would have to pay. So that was a big, huge um, incentive. Um, also, you know, I'm from California. So I grew up, I was born on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. And, um, you know, growing up in LA or LA County, uh, basically North Los Angeles. Uh, it's an interesting thing. Like the town I grew up in, very small, very nice, quaint. Uh, but then the second you get, you know, 15, 20 minutes into Hollywood or downtown, it can be a little crazy. And what I mean by that is, especially the traffic. It's a more fast paced uh, environment there in LA. So in Nashville, it's got a little bit more slower pace. And a lot of times you'll hear people here in Nashville talk about how, oh, the traffic's getting worse and it's so bad and all this. And it has gotten a little worse since I've been here, um, but it pales in comparison to what Los Angeles traffic is like. So. I'll take this any day, traffic wise. Yeah, there's still traffic, but every city, big city's gotta, gonna have some traffic issues. Um, so all around, what I'd say is, I also wanted to move because, well, for real estate, I could afford to actually be an investor here. I couldn't do that in Los Angeles. That was another reason. And for all you people that maybe are not homeowners yet or looking to be investors or, our investors, Nashville is quite the boomtown USA. Um, so uh, highly recommend uh, investing in real estate in Nashville. And I'm not a financial advisor, so don't hold that against me. Don't tase me, bro. It's just a recommendation that I have uh, since I've been here that I've done very well in real estate. So proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Where do these sayings come from? Anyway, I probably Google and find out because I'm actually kind of curious. But anyway, um, Nashville, Tennessee, um, the people here, the Southern hospitality, man, that's a game changer. The LA attitudes, it's like everyone's racing and clawing and fighting to get to the top and I got to get to my destination, get out of my way, I'm cutting you off on the freeway and people, uh, people's attitudes and um, just their aura, their being, everyone's more tense, you know, you have to push yourself to the limit to be a success there because the cost of living so high, you have to just go, go, go. Um, here in Nashville, you, like I said, you've got that Southern hospitality, baby. I mean, that we're in the Bible belt, you know, you got a lot of great people here that just, you know, were raised pretty dang well for the most part. And um, I definitely can say, being here the last eight and a half years, I've met some amazing, great people. I worked on the TV show Nashville for four years. I worked on another TV show called Still the King with Billy Ray Cyrus for two years. And on the show Nashville, you know, I would meet people. Like that was the best way to come, like move to a new city and get to know people was working on that show because every day I was on set, I was meeting new people, new extras would come in and out and then you build friendships with the people that you reoccurringly see and then you have your little cliques and your little groups and your hangouts and it's so much fun and I really uh, cherish that time when I look back and I'm like man that was this cool special thing because we don't really have much uh, tv or filming going on now nowadays here in Nashville except for of course like music videos and you know things like that some commercials maybe here and there um but uh so yeah, the people here are super nice. Um, weather, the weather here is, the nice thing is you got all four seasons. So that's cool. 
but you know, when it comes to the winter time, it's much colder here, obviously, than California. So I had to adapt, you know, being from Southern California, being spoiled with such good weather, coming here, I was like, uh, winter, get me out of here. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like we're in Wisconsin or, you know, Michigan and, and you know, South North Dakota, you know, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, it, it does get much colder here and, um, but it's bearable, you know, your body adapts and not saying 20 degrees is great, uh, but it's nice to see snow here, you know, growing up in Los Angeles and California, you just never hardly ever saw snow unless you went up to the mountains to Wrightwood, uh, Big Bear, uh, Air, Lake Arrowhead, which were cool spots that were in, a, in the vicinity. Um, let's see what else. So the people here, way nicer overall, friendlier, uh, which I love. I needed that. You need to be surrounded by, it's like you're influenced by your environment, you know, and when you're in LA, it's easy to just get bogged down by that same mindset and being like, F you, get out of my way. Uh, one thing I learned about that, which is really funny, is in LA, someone cuts you off, you flip them off, and you're just like, whatever, I'll never see them again, because you're in such a large city. Here in Nashville, it's such a smaller city that you flip that person off, next thing you know, you guys are pulling in the same driveway, going to the same place, getting out at the same time, you're like, okay, uh, I shouldn't do that, you know? It's, it's really funny how that uh, occurs. But so the people here are much friendlier overall. Um, the weather here, you get all four seasons. It does get colder. And then, of course, the summertime, you know, you got that high humidity, which is not always great, um, but gives you the opportunity to get out on the lake, to go to the river, go kayaking. Um, you know, there is opportunity in those ways as well. Um, so weather people. So yeah, basically what I did was I traded the good weather and traded that for good people. And, uh, I'm glad I did it. And, you know, with, like I said, with real estate, I mean, it was a no brainer because in Los Angeles, it's unaffordable to be a real estate investor unless you just have, unless you already have, you know, $500,000 in the bank or, you know, you gotta, you know, quite the money. Cause you know, there's a lot of average homes in LA that are like a million bucks. So that means you got to put down 250,000, 100,000, depending on, you know, you could put as little as 3.5%, but your mortgage is going to be so high that it's just like, you're going to be scrounging and, and scraping. But, uh, so yeah, here in Nashville, Tennessee, the cost of living is so much cheaper and you know, uh, the taxes are so much better that you have more of a peaceful life. I, I truly believe, you know, you, um, you can live way more comfortably. You can be more at peace because of those things. And that is really important. And that goes an extra long way. Um, I'm trying to think what else, uh, well, being a musician, being a singer songwriter, I definitely have been open to the world of country music and, um, all the musician friends that I have here in Nashville, Tennessee. And what it's done for me as a musician, as a singer songwriter in LA, there's not as much talent. You get to Nashville and it's like some of the greatest, most talented musicians in the world uh, perform here and play here. And this is their hub, this is where they live and then they go to around the country. Um, so what it did for me was it really built up my chops. I said, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta step it up. So that's one thing it did for me. Another thing it did for me, it put things in perspective. It said, am I, am I so special enough to make this stuff happen? And what I've noticed for me is I've kind of, my focus has been less upon the music. And for multiple reasons, a lot of that has to do with, you know, sustainability and income, like being a musician is, you know, the money's not always as great, just numbers wise, like, you know, when you look at percentages, it's like that. It's kind of like the 1% of musicians are the ones that make a gazillion, you know, make a ton of money, millions of dollars. But it's the like 95 or whatever percent it is of musicians that, uh, you know, sometimes barely scrape by, you know. And, you know, what? I just didn't want to live that life. So that's why I focused on real estate. And that's why my focus has been more on real estate. And I like the idea also of being a musician and a songwriter and doing it on my own terms 
and getting great satisfaction out of that rather than being signed to a label, having the pressure, and then being influenced by maybe someone's point of views to have help, you know, want me to write a certain type of record or certain type of songs. I can just do it at my own pace. I can do it at my own leisure and I can get my own satisfaction out of doing it myself. So I like that a lot. But yeah, when it comes to talent, this city, Nashville, Tennessee, has some of the most talented artists here. And I am grateful to know uh, quite a few of them. And um, that's been really cool too. Um, let's see, what else? Um, weather, people, the geography. So, you know, for instance, like in LA and in Southern California, Los Angeles, where I'm from, you know, it's like a Mediterranean desert climate. So it's pretty dry. You get sunshine almost all, pretty much all year round. Um, but it is like more of like a desert climate. Here, you know, you got more humidity and you and it rains more often. So the advantage or the good thing about that is you got some amazing, beautiful, lush scenery here. You know, you go on hikes here. The hiking here is awesome. The You got these big, beautiful, tall green trees everywhere. Um, and just the geography, it kind of, you know, you got your hills and your... Uh, your valleys and um, it's the geography here is pretty sweet you know when you look at it from the airplane when you're flying out which I'll be doing here soon um, it's just, it's just really cool to see because then you look at LA it, you, it looks like you know if, if you open up like electronics and you look at a, like a microchip in the circuit board it's that's what it almost looks like it's just like it's like a concrete jungle you know it's like you don't see as many trees. There isn't as much beauty in nature. So in Nashville, Tennessee, man, you sure have a lot of beauty and a lot of nature, a lot of greenery. Because in California, you know, the water shortage, it's dry out there. You know, you don't have that uh, green, lush uh, geography. Um, what else can I tell you? Nashville, Tennessee. Man, going down on Broadway. Uh, when I first moved here, it was super cool because it wasn't this crazy monster that it is today. Today, it's like all the bachelor, bachelorette parties, everyone flocks, anyone that lives anywhere around the South, anywhere like 200, 300, 400, 500 miles, comes here to celebrate, whether it's getting married or a birthday or whatever, it's kind of like the Vegas of the South, Las Vegas of the South, and they call it Nash Vegas. A lot of people hate that term. Um, but it is that kind of uh, situation where so many tourists flock to Nashville, Tennessee. They come here for the weekends. And like during the summer, man, it just gets crazy downtown. Um, but when I first moved here, or even the first time I visited, the very first time I visited Nashville is 2008. And it had this, it was this charming, beautiful little city where you could park on Broadway, get out of your car, walk into Robert's Western World and get a uh, burger and a beer for like five bucks, you know, um, it was so cool. And, but now it's just gotten, you know, a lot of the locals always talk about, oh yeah, I don't want to go downtown. It's crazy, you know, um, and rightfully so. It's definitely taken a life of its own. All the uh, pedal taverns and all these companies that have made all these different tourist attraction uh you know, cars and trams and trolleys and buses and tractors. I mean, they've come up with some funny, crazy ideas. Cars that look like a boat and you look like you're in the water when you're in the back of it, you know. Um, and literally tractors pulling like, you know, 20 people down the road and everyone's just raging. Um, but uh, down on Broadway, you know, there's certain places that are really cool, like, like Robert's Western World. If you want traditional country music, you want to get a taste of what, you know, Nashville originally was or get that taste of like true country music, Robert's Western World has that old school traditional country music. And next door at Layla's, sometimes they'll have that too. It's called Layla's Bluegrass Inn, but, you know, they run the gamut of different genres of music there. Um, but Robert's Western World still has that charm. Uh, if I go downtown, which I haven't been doing much at all these days. When I first moved here, I was there all the time. But um, usually Roberts is the place that I go to. Um, what else can I tell you about Nashville, Tennessee? Um, 
The disc golf here uh, is very popular, more so than Southern California. Uh, there's some great courses here. Um, Seven Oaks Park, Two Rivers Park, Cedar Hill Park. Um, there's a new one that's coming into town, which I'm really stoked about, which is literally 10 minutes from me. Like, I'm so excited about that. Um, what else? What else? L.A. comparatively. Um, yeah, L.A. kind of, you know, Hollywood just has kind of this darkness there. There's just like a overarching darkness, you know. Um, not everyone. You know, there's some good people out there, but it's a little harder to find. I notice in Beverly Hills, I feel like, is the worst when it comes to people, like, driving like maniacs and, like, fast-paced environment it's like you're driving the speed limit and people are cutting you off and pissed because you're driving the speed limit it's it's kind of that same mentality that i was saying earlier about uh like oh my gosh i need to get to my destination i need to make my money i'm stressed i'm uh, strapped you know i'm just trying to survive and like that crazy mentality we're here in nashville tennessee overall that's what i'd say about nashville tennessee i feel like you have a better more well-rounded balanced peaceful experience um so yeah i mean and then you know you got your preds you got your hockey here you got your football team the titans uh, so you got football games that are very entertaining to go to you got your hockey games that are super fun at bridgestone which is downtown um you got the sound stadium which is our i guess minor league or triple a or whatever baseball team which is always super fun to go to tickets are so super cheap and you go there and have a good old time um, and there's just different pockets of Nashville that are super fun and cool. You know, you got uh, the Gulch, you got Midtown, you got 12 South. Like, those are all really sweet areas. Green Hills is great. You got Bell Mead, which is like the rich old money, you know, old money. Uh, you got West Mead, where I used to live. Uh, great location. I really regret selling that house. Um, really great area. I'll try to buy back in there at some point. Um, Bellevue's nice. Uh, South Nashville overall is pretty nice. And then you got like East Nashville where a lot of musicians live. It's more of a liberal area. Um, and then you got right next door, which is basically connected, still kind of considered East Nashville. You got Inglewood and then Madison. Um, and there's my buddy. There's my buddy, Andrew. He, uh, picking up his trailer. I let him leave it here um, at the second driveway. Anyway, I guess he didn't want to stop by and say hi. He probably has stuff to do. Don't we all? It's a Monday. Um, but anyway, uh, I won't make this video too much longer, but that's the gist of the benefits and the reasons and the cool aspects of living in Nashville, Tennessee, as opposed to Southern California, Hollywood, and LA. Uh, so I hope this found you well. I hope you got some value out of this. I hope that you would please like, please subscribe and tell a friend, maybe comment below and give me your take on, you know, maybe what you've seen or, you know, what you liked about this video. Till then, you guys have a great day. Take care. Eric Norris. Peace out.